Well, the uh, the Da Vinci robot is having uh, expanding indications. Uh, it's used almost exclusively now for prostate and GYN surgery. And now we've come back to the cardiac uh, and thoracic, in other words, the heart and the lungs. In terms of the lung or in the chest, we can do anything within the chest. Uh, if that's removing the lung or biopsying the lung, if it's a mediastinal mass, a thymoma, a schwannoma, uh, diaphragm, we can do anything now. Uh, it's really had great outcomes, a great operation. Well, I think the, the benefits to the patient uh, is that it's smaller incisions, but it's all for little cylindrical tubes. So you end up with four or five incisions the size of your fingernail. So it's very, very small incisions. We don't spread the ribs, and it's much less painful and quicker recovery. So for the patient, you know, it's less pain, less blood loss, quicker recovery. Now for the surgeon, it allows me to do a better operation. I can see better and the instruments move seven degrees, like having little hands inside the chest. I'm controlling the robot, uh, but it's doing what I want it to do, and it's following every move that I make. So I can not only do it better, I can see it better. So I feel like I can do a better operation with the robot with improved outcomes for the patient. Uh, with the robot, after just several weeks, they're back to full activity, where they can lift weights, run, jog, do marathons, whatever they want to do. So it's much quicker recovery. The patients have been really very happy with it, uh, and I emphasize to them it's not painless. You're still going to have some pain, but it's much less. Uh, we had one particular patient that came in who had had a prior thoracotomy where they spread the ribs, uh, and this time we went in and biopsied his lung with the robot. He said it's like night and day. He said he still hurt from the thoracotomy, whereas the robot, after a week, he felt perfectly normal. Uh, we have had uh, quick recovery. We had one lady who was undergoing radiation therapy for some brain meds. Uh, she had her radiation therapy treatment Friday morning. We did her uh, later that day. She went home Sunday and continued her radiation on Monday, so she didn't skip a beat. So the patients have been really uh, pleasantly surprised at how uh, quick they recover and how little pain they have. I think that as a, as a consumer, you need to be informed. Uh, first of all, you need to be aware that robotic technology is available. And you need to find the hospital where it's being done and the physicians that do it there. And a good place to start would be to go to the website for the hospital, uh, the Heart Hospital Vader Plano website, and they then can steer you to the physicians that are doing robotic surgery.